Okay guys, today is a very exciting day. It is my bedding refresh day for fall. I love changing up my duvet cover for every new season and it's about to be fall any day now. So I'm changing up my duvet cover. You guys know I love the off-white duvet covers and I love Brooklinen duvet covers. They're super quality, but not super expensive. They're very affordable for what they are for the quality because Brooklinen cuts out the middleman, which we love. So I washed her, I dried her. She's a little bit wrinkly because I think I left her in the dryer for a little bit too long. She was just sitting there, but it's all good. The wrinkles will come out after a few hours. I love the material of this Lux duvet cover from Brooklinen. It's so honestly light. Like if you get really hot in the middle of the night, this is perfect for you. Super quality. So I'm gonna put my duvet insert inside of this and you'll see the full effect in a second. I love the Lux Hardcore Bundle from Brooklinen and you can save 25% by getting this bundle, guys. This comes with everything you need, the core sheet set, duvet cover, and extra pillowcases. It's such a great deal and you can save even more by using my promo code Katie to get an additional $20 off your order over $100. There's truly no better feeling than having clean, fresh sheets, fresh duvet, like the feeling of triumph. <laughs> like, hallelujah, I have a clean bed. Honestly, best feeling ever. You guys know how much I love Brooklyn, and I literally start out like every vlog with my bed, I feel like. I don't know if that's like a trend with me, but I feel like every vlog opens up with me making my bed and it's always Brooklinen. So check out Brooklinen, guys. I'm gonna have it linked below, discount code on the screen. Check them out. Quality stuff, super premium products for super affordable prices. You get really good stuff. They have a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different patterns, textures. They have bath products as well. I love my Brooklinen robe and my towel sets. Check them out for all things home because you deserve it, truly. Anyway, on with the vlog. I have a lot to do today, so let's get into it. Guys, how freaking cute is this little dress from Revolve? Honestly, when I saw it on the website, I wasn't expecting it to poof so far, but I kind of like it. I think I look like a little dollop of whipped cream or like a little uh, fairy or something. I'm really like, I love it with like a pair of heels. I think I'm gonna wear this this weekend I have a brunch with my girlfriends, I might wear this there. I tried on two other things from Revolve and one thing, honestly, I just like could not, whoa, my face actually looks a little bit tan right now. Probably can't tell, my, I have this like acne scar here. So I got three things total from Revolve. One, I just really cannot figure out how to get it on and I've tried it every which way. I should have filmed it, honestly. And it just like either, doesn't look right on me or I just can't figure out the right way to wear it. So it's going back I'm just too confused to figure it out and I just Have better things to do in my life than be confused by a piece of clothing Like I just I really like straightforward clothes Like put head here put arm through here like that is what I require So it's going back <laughs> in protest But this dress I love I wonder if that angle was doing it justice. I always look back on video and I'm like, oh, okay I probably should have done a different angle but like Really cute, it's like a little fairy. And yeah, this lighting is not doing many favors. But I did um, put some tanner on my face for the first time ever. I've never put on tanning drops before because I've always been afraid of it breaking me out. But actually, no such thing has happened. So basically what I did was I mixed these tanning drops, Tan Lux, the face, so I mixed two and a half, like two full syringes. What is this called? Dropper? Why did I call it a syringe? That's so bad. I think this is a dropper. Anyway, so I got two and a half full droppers and I put it on my hand and then I mixed my moisturizer in with it. You guys know I talked about this zero pore cream from Medicube, so I used a dollop of uh, moisturizer, mixed it in and just put it all over my face. And it's hard to tell, but like I'm very tan right now on my body and I was so, so, so pale on my face because of all the SPF I've been using. And I feel like my skin tone is actually evening out quite nicely. I have some acne scarring going on, but 
that's normal. I'm thinking of getting this like laser facial situation for the acne scarring. I've been told by some friends it does help to get them lasered out, but I don't know, at the end of the day, I'm just glad that they're flat so I can cover it with makeup. It's all good. Acne scars are normal. It happens. It comes to the territory of being a human being, so we're good with it. But anyway, I love this tanner. It's so great and it does not break me out. I have it in the light medium, but they also um, have this like full body situation, which I've seen all over Instagram. This is not sponsored, by the way, by Tan Lux. I do not work with them but yeah I'm curious about this I do have some good color right now but maybe once I start to fade a bit I can try out the water I've seen a bunch of my friends talk about this but anyway tonight I'm just chilling getting some more work done I'm so relieved that guy canceled our date tonight because now I have the night to just chill well like get some stuff done but like chill before my crazy day tomorrow I have such a mad day tomorrow so I'm happy to have the night to myself. I actually just posted this poll on Instagram, doing nothing, relaxing, just like being chill. I said in the poll, do you find it hard to do these things, to be idle, to relax, to be chill, or you don't find it hard? Like, which one? Do you find it difficult? You don't find it difficult. And the results are actually interesting to me. Like, honestly, it's pretty 50-50. And I definitely fall into the camp of like, I, I have a very hard time being idle. So I'm going to turn the sink on above me. I have a very hard time being idle and relaxing, but it's interesting to see that like some people have no trouble at all with it. I just like have a hard time for many reasons with that, but I'm going to try to be idle tonight. I'm going to try to relax. Guys, good morning. I am up bright and early. It is 7 a.m. right now, probably like 7.15 actually. Right now I'm getting ready to head over to a client. So you guys know I used the self-tanner on my face last night and unfortunately I forgot to, I washed my hands, but I, I guess I got some like down my wrist. So that's not great, but it's okay. Um, my bracelets will cover slash like it happens to the best of us. Anyway, right now I'm getting ready to go to a press preview for one of my clients. So one of my clients, a fashion brand called Fig, I've talked about them before. I'm wearing head to toe Fig right now in support, but they are launching a new spring collection next spring, obviously. Once we get through fall, winter, it comes out next spring. But uh, ahead of the launch, like a couple seasons before, they always do this preview for press so people can write articles about the clothes and like feature them in their publications or just things like that. Buyers as well, I think they do a, a separate one for buyers. Today is for press, but tomorrow I think they're doing one for buyers that I'm not going to, but I'm going to the press preview today to capture some social media content and just overall get a good idea of what spring is so I can brainstorm content for them next spring we're like ahead of spring um then i'm gonna come back here i have a client to call via zoom then i'm done with that sort of work i'm gonna shower um do my hair again and then go to this uh revolve event with danielle i don't know what it entails because i'm her plus one but i'm excited i have a whole outfit plan it's gonna be fun so that's my day today very much uh fashion focused i guess but that is what we're up to so i'll bring you guys along Hey guys, so I'm back. I just put on some Laneige, Laneige, however you say it, that um, moisturizer in my lips because my lips are so chapped for some reason. I think it's my air conditioner. Like did me dirty last night. Anyway, just went to that client at the owner of the brand, Liz's apartment. She lives in this beautiful apartment, stunning apartment uptown. She showed me in her closet today and I nearly passed away because she has a beautiful walk-in closet, all, all these like Hermes and Chanel bags, just like perfectly 
placed on these little shelves. It was just a dream. I ordered some lunch, then I have to shower, get ready for the Revolve event, which is at 4 p.m. So I think we're trying to get there right at 4 or 4.15. So I'm gonna start getting ready in a few hours. Not like too early. I do have some, a little bit of admin work to do. Hey guys, welcome back to Thick and Thin with me, Katie Bilotti. Hope you guys are doing well. And honestly, I must say I am so, so glad that you're here for this episode because I really think I'm onto something. I really think that a lot of people are going to resonate with this episode. Two concepts I'm going to bring up in this episode that I've really never heard of before, or I guess I've never been able to put them into words. Hope you guys enjoy it. How'd I do? <laughs> okay, guys, so I am all dolled up and ready for the Revolve Fashion Week event. Sorry, it's rush hour outside. You guys can hear a bunch of car noise. That's what that is. But this is actually from Remy's collection for Revolve. It's Remy X Revolve. It's her line for the bigger, greater Revolve, which I love. It's this beautiful, like chocolate brown color, nice and cinchy, really gives you that snatched sort of look. And it's just super, super flattering. The only thing is it's kind of tight towards the bottom. I might have to get it hemmed because you really can't walk that fast, but maybe that's the point. I'm not sure, but I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. I'm gonna use this black purse and then black heels. Can't really see them. Can't really kick my leg up that high in this, but you get the picture, just a nice simple black suede heel. And so for hair and makeup, I did my own makeup and hair. I just flipped out the ends of my hair with my uh, whatever it's called it's like my blow dryer brush wand situation it's like a round round blow dryer brush so i used that and just flipped up the ends and then eyeliner i just did like a thick cat eye i used a l'oreal eyeliner l'oreal flash cat is my favorite liquid liner i also love rare beauty's liquid liner but this one looks really nice it's really um matte and easy to use earrings are from ALV, ALV Jewelers, I think. I'm gonna link them below. Arium Ring, Nude Lip, Crazy Traffic. I'm already sweating. I need to put perfume on. Okay guys, I just got back from the Revolve Gallery. That's what it was called. Something really interesting about it is the location is actually right next door to where I used to work at L'Oreal, like actually right next door. The whole place was, I guess they just, I don't know, not gutted it, but created like all these different rooms. Like they must have just gotten like this, like a set designer or someone to come in and fully transform the space and make it into this like maze. It was like a labyrinth of sorts with all these different rooms for all these different designers that carry their brands at Revolve. It was very, very cool. It was a really cool event. Got to see a lot of awesome designers. I saw probably every internet creator I've ever known in my entire life, like past, present, every person I've ever followed was there. People from all over the place. All of my friends were there. People that I've watched or that I follow on Instagram or TikTok that I've never met were there. Like it was just a hub of so many people, famous and like editors and just like people like me who make YouTube videos, like it was just wild. It's opening to the public tomorrow and it was just a really crazy event. A lot of, I feel very overwhelmed right now. Just, it was very fun being there, but now that I'm out, I'm like, whoa, that was a lot of social stimulation, a lot to look at, lots of things. And now I'm really grateful to be home on my couch. Danielle was going to another event and I was like, bless your heart. Like, I'm so proud of you, so happy for you that you can do that, that you have the stamina for that. But I feel like a grandma because I just want to go home and crawl into bed and it's 7 p.m. So 
<laughs> I'm actually gonna do a little bit of work. I have a, a, a vlog to finish. I can't even speak right now. I have a vlog to finish due tomorrow. And my dress proved to be very comfortable. It's a little bit big, I realized though. That's the only thing I should have sized down one. So if you're gonna buy this dress, FYI, I recommend sizing down. I had a few near nip slips this evening. Sorry, my hair is like, looks good, but it's also like just a mess. Tomorrow, we're just doing it all over again. I have my trainer in the morning with Danielle. Okay, so these are the two newest additions to my apartment, it appears. I uh, didn't have these this morning and now I do. So <laughs> they're new additions. I got this dress from Cynthia Rowley. I'm borrowing this for the show. It's a beautiful blue, comes with this little bow. I'm gonna probably put it on the front. Cynthia Rowley's show is on Tuesday. So I have this um, a little bit early. So I have this one and then this dress on the right is my very first piece from Stodd. I've never had anything from Stodd before, but I'm very excited about this. It is all one piece, so it's attached. It's like a white button down with a knit black part to it with some um, bust detailing. Very excited about this one. Very out of my comfort zone, but I thought it was perfect for Rebecca. I'm gonna wear some black accessories and she's gonna be perfect. The look is on, everyone. I feel like this is giving um, Meredith Blake vibes from Parent Trap. The red lip. I don't know how to do my hair right now. I feel like with this collar, I should have probably done an updo. But like, I feel like it's okay. Like tucked behind the, the ears with the earrings. I don't know. I feel incredibly chic right now. That's all that matters. How I feel is the most important part. Um, yeah, this is like so out of my comfort zone, but I love it. I threw on a red lip, which is going to be a liability. This is a dark red lip. Hopefully it doesn't get on my white shirt. That would be a nightmare, but I really love this outfit. I love these gold shoes, but I think that the black strappy sandals look better with the fit. And then I think I'm just gonna throw on a black bag, but I love that the dress has a slit. It makes it a little bit more feminine. <laughs> so we're out here taking videos and pictures and stuff, and it's obviously golden hour and we hear out of nowhere, NYPD, out of their um, like, microphone, the microphone. Like, is like, like, pull over, pull over, like, no. I thought we were in trouble. He goes, golden hour, <laughs> golden hour, and then says it again. So, we really shut we've been caught in 4K yeah. here in the middle of the street, but we're all taking pics and videos. Audrey's looking amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like a little bit hotter than I wanted to be. I thought it was more fall than it was, but. I saw 82 or something before I was like, yeah, You know when you yeah. see an outfit and you're like, I'll be fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll be fine. And then you're in the outfit and you're like, ooh. It's okay though. It's all we right. Look you look great. I mean, Thank she you. looks amazing. She's giving chic. Okay. She's giving Thank you. She, you're getting sophisticated. I was thinking, yeah. um, yeah, like kind of like the, the good, the mom at this, the parent teacher conference that you're like, whoa. You're intimidated by that mom? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going for. I see that. 